So we're taking a look at two brand new tents from Terra Nova Equipment. They're Wild Country branded Panacea 2. And then we've got the Terra Nova Equipment Northern Light 2. So from the outside, these tents look identical. But I thought today I'd do a side-by-side -side comparison, go through some of the specs and materials so you can make a choice of which one of these two is best for you. Both of these tents are identical in shape and size. The things that differ on them are the materials that they're made from, and they're the things that have an impact on the performance, the weight, how bulky the tents are, and of course the price. So the Panacea uses the Wild Country Stormtex P4000 polyester fly sheet material. So the Panacea uses a 68 denier material. If you're not sure what denier means, it's all to do with the, the thickness of the strands of the fibers. So the higher the denier, the thicker the strands are basically, which results in a, in a thicker material. So this is a polyester material, which is a little bit cheaper than nylon. Um, but nylon is stronger, so you can get a thinner strand that is stronger than a thicker polyester strand. Which means that the Northern Light 2 will be stronger with a thinner material. So the Northern Light 2 has got a 20 denier ripstop nylon, which is silicon and PU coated. Terra Nova call it watershed. And you can just see and feel the difference in the quality of the material. So both tents are really strong, but the Panacea, to give it its extra strength, it's got a thicker material. Both of these tents are waterproof guaranteed by Terra Nova. The hydrostatic head on the Panacea is 4,000 millimeters, and it's exactly the same for the Northern Light too. So both have got equal waterproofing properties. When it comes to choosing a tent, the hydrostatic head can also be confusing for people. So basically, this material at 4,000 millimeters will hold a column of water 4,000 millimeters high, which is four meters, before it starts to penetrate through the material. Anything above 1,500 millimeters is considered waterproof, so these are very waterproof tents. Both tents have a DWR coating on it, which is basically the coating which allows the water to bead off the surface. That's the fly sheet lesson over. Let's move on to the poles. So the Panacea's got their own brand Wild Country 9.5 millimeter Superflex alloy poles, whereas the Northern Light has got a 9.3 millimeter DAC NFL pole. So the hubs on these are different to those on the Panacea. So DAC poles are considered to be the industry leaders when it comes to tent poles. Pretty much all high-end tents have DAC poles on them. You can see the difference in the hub areas To be honest with you, I've never had any problems with my poles on Wild Country tents. Uh, and Terra Nova, they do, if you buy from Terra Nova, I will leave a link in the description below. Um, they will give you a two year guarantee on all of your tent poles, and that is even covering accidental damage, which is a nice guarantee. By the way, if you are interested in any of these tents or any other Terra Nova or Wild Country tents, I have got a discount code and a link in the description below where you can get 20% off all the RRPs. So that'll mean you'll have some leftover money for some more camping gear. So it looks like they're using the same clips on both tents. The elasticated toggles are a little bit thinner on the Terra Nova Northern Light. You can see there, look. Guessing that's just to save micrograms. These adjustable Pegging out points, very strong. They're the same on both tents. And each pegging out point is reinforced. You can see the tape seaming under there for the waterproofing. In fact, all seams are fully taped on both tents. These are the standard Wild Country guidelines. Whereas the Terra Nova tent uses a thinner Dyneema, which is incredibly strong. And again, everything is just lighter weight on the Northern Light too. Both tents have got a vent with a little arm, which is Velcroed on there just to hold it open. The ventilation on both tents is pretty good actually. There's vents on all four sides. 
So before we move on, a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video today. So unless you've been living in a tent in the middle of nowhere for the last 10 years, then you probably know who Squarespace are. If you want to have a go at building a website all by yourself, they're the number one place to do that. So we've been using Squarespace for a few years for selling merchandise, for selling my unwanted gear and promoting the YouTube channel and my prize competitions. Setting up our site was really easy. We just chose one of their ready-made templates uploaded our own photos, added some text, and then just moved things around. And within a couple of hours, we had a website. There's loads of different options if you're a blogger, if you want to start selling items online, share videos with your gear reviews. You can even update your website on the go using the mobile app. Anyway, if you want to have a go at building a website of your own, then click the link in the description below or head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So the vestibule space is very large, loads of room. You could get a couple of packs in there, boots, and do your cooking. That is just one side. It's exactly the same around here. There's a little bungee on the end so you can peg that out, stop your zip coming open. More than light, it's got Velcro as well on there, again, Patches are slightly smaller, which just saves that extra couple of grams. Two-way zips, by the way, so you just want to peek through the window on a morning. Yeah, you can feel the lightness of the material. It's what you're paying the extra money for, really. Large vestibule again. Very spacious tent, this. Right, so the inner material, again, is different on both tents. So this is a, a lighter material, again, ripstop nylon. It's a half mesh with a 30 denier material. And the ground sheet is a little bit thicker at 70 denier. And it's got a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. So it's very robust and waterproof. The inner on the Panacea is again a 68 denier polyester. Half mesh again, and you can feel that it's slightly thicker. And the ground sheet on this one, Terra Nova call it Aqua Stop. And you guessed it, 68 denier polyester, and this one's got a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. Back in the Northern Light. You can see the second vestibule area. It's got the same vent design as the Panacea. There's a little window there as well, which you have to do from this side. Oops, two zips there. So if you want that little bit of extra airflow, exactly the same at the other side. In loads of pockets, one at the side of that door and one at the other side. There's plenty of room inside. It's a palace for one person. Let's have a look in the Panacea. Pretty much the same as you've seen in the Northern Light. The designs of these two tents, as I said, they're identical. All the corners have been beefed up and reinforced. Glow in the dark zip tags. Yeah, really nice tent. And both of these have also got a really good trick up the sleeve when it comes to really windy conditions. So I've seen quite a few manufacturers that have got this kind of design where there's a, a cross pole, which doesn't go all the way down. And it's, it really opens a space inside the tent, makes it a really comfortable living space. But if the wind picks up, these can quite easily bow down which you may have seen in my honeymoon video with one of the cheaper Chinese tents. The tent was basically just flattened. But if you saw my trip out in the Panacea, up in the snow, um, I used their trekking pole um, feature that they've got on them and it made the tent pretty much bomb proof. So both the Northern Light and the Panacea 
And if you can see it, there's a little pocket up there. So this allows you to put the handle of your trekking pole in there and just raise your trekking pole and suddenly <laughs> you've just got a pillar of strength. The second trekking pole would go in the other side. And then you're left with a tank of a tent. And this feature is available on both of them. So you get in the same strength, waterproofing, um, pretty much everything is the same for both of these two tents, apart from the weight, the bulk, and the price. The Northern Light, it's using better quality materials. It's using the industry leading poles. This one's marketed as a three to four season tent, whereas Wild Country are only saying that the Panacea is a three season tent. However, I'd have no problem using that in most UK conditions anyway, and that, that includes the snow. I don't see a difference with these two tents when it comes to whether it's a three season or a four season. I think both of these will will cope perfectly fine all year round here in the UK. I didn't mention the pegs. So these are Terra Nova's Terra Firma tent pegs. They are like a, a Y shape, very lightweight. The Panacea uses their V shape alloy pegs. Again, they do perfectly well. They were fine in the snow and wind for me the other night. So it was down to me, which two of these tents would I buy? Well, I'm a bit of a gear freak, as you know. I would buy the Northern Light 2, purely because it is lighter, it's got better quality materials. Um, and I'm the sort of person that chucks his money at tents. But it's over 600 pound and not everybody has got that budget. And I honestly think that the Panacea 2 will do everything that the Northern Light will do. Um, it's just over half the price, I believe, but it's heavier, it's bulkier. So this is 2.85 kilograms, and this is 2.2 kilograms. So there's not a huge amount of difference. So the difference in weight is only a couple of cans of Coke, but the pack size is visibly larger on the Panacea. But if weight and bulk isn't an issue to you, um, then I would seriously give that a look. So one last thing to consider is the lifespan and longevity of your tent. So this more expensive watershed material has been developed to be more UV resistant, um, less likely to degrade um, over time, because all materials wear over time. Um, so the more you spend, the, the longer your tent. This might last you 20 years or something like that, I don't know. So if you want to buy a tent for life, I recommend buying the best you can. But if you're a weekend warrior that goes out only once every couple of months, that's the one. Anyway, that's my quick comparison of the Wild Country Panacea 2 and the Terra Nova Northern Light 2. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And you'll see me in these tents in future videos.